Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because today I'm going to be doing another menstrual product review for you. Today I'll be reviewing the Honey Pot Cup. <laughs> So before we get into talking about the menstrual cup, I wanted to just give you guys a few details about the Honey Pot Company itself. Not only do they carry menstrual cups, but they also carry a wide range of menstrual products that are not only 100% natural, but they are also biodegradable and cruelty free, which is always a plus. And they are black owned, which is amazing to be able to highlight that right now. And also on top of that, they are affordable products, which is so important when it comes to something that you need as a necessity monthly. You can not only find their products at stores like Target and Walmart, but I know in my area, I can also find them at a lot of local grocery stores, which is pretty cool. I haven't really seen a whole lot of companies that are natural and also even just menstrual cups and reusable products in my grocery grocery stores and not in like big like Targets and Walmarts and things like that. So I thought that was pretty neat So yeah, if you go onto their website and you search online in their little search area engine It'll tell you everywhere where they're available in person I also have a link underneath this video that is an affiliate link So when you click that my family and I do get credit But I have an online link there too for you to be able to find it if you would prefer ordering it online, especially right now when I know a lot of people are trying to avoid going out into public or going out into stores in general Moving on to the cup, which is what I'm reviewing today, it does come in a size 1 and a size 2. The size 1 says for women between ages of 19 to 30 with a medium flow, and for size 2 for women over 30 or post baby with a heavy flow. I've always said this before, I never pay attention to any of the recommendations on cup boxes ever because I don't think that they are 100% accurate in regards to helping you find your exact cup because I actually between the two of these cups preferred the size one cup which I am clearly over 30. I have had three children and I have anywhere between a medium and a light flow at this point in my life. When it comes to the packaging of this cup it's pretty standard there's no extra glitzy anything to it. There is some plastic included in it with the window and everything and the tape at the top. Inside your box you do get a little storage bag. This is just made out of it seems like a regular cotton linen-y material and then you have a little pamphlet that has everything about the cup on it and then your cup. When it comes to the size of the cup I feel like they're pretty much the basic sizes that I've seen just in general. I do like that the size 2 cup even though it is larger it is more tapered at the bottom so if you're somebody like me who can get away with using the size 1 this one still might be comfortable because it is tapered enough at the bottom especially if you maybe cut off part of the stem. This one I would suggest using if you have a very high cervix and that's kind of why I don't really say go by the recommendations on the box because a lot of it has to do where your cervix is in your cycle or just how you're built. If you're like me and you have your cervix that kind of goes up and down throughout your cycle, mine starts really, really high and then lowers towards the end of my cycle, then sometimes you need to go between a size one and a two. For this, in the beginning of my cycle, I definitely need to use a size two and I'll explain why in a little bit. And at, towards the end though, the size one is perfect for me. To figure out if you have one of those traveling cervixes that like to go up and down, just stick your finger up there sometime and just feel around. It's basically like a little nubby thing that people say feels like the tip of your nose. I would agree with that except for mine feels a little bit firmer than the tip of my nose but if you move around in there and kind of explore your body you'll kind of figure out what I'm talking about. But feel your way around during your cycle just to see where your cervix sits and then that can actually be a really good key indicator if you need a taller or bigger cup versus a smaller cup. And I say that because smaller cups will tend to kind of suck right way up and then it can be hard to get them down versus having a larger cup that can sit higher up underneath your cervix, catch more, catch things more efficiently, and then also be easier to pull out when you're ready to empty your cup and put it back in. This cup has four air holes around the rim. It has the measuring inside of the cup instead of outside of the cup so that it is smooth all the way around and you won't have to feel any abrasiveness or any ridging on the outside of the cup in your vagina. It does have some grippers at the bottom of the stem and then also at the bottom of the cup itself so that way you can grip it, pull it down. The stem is a tube style which is a downfall for me if I had to say anything negative so far with this cup that is that there is a tube stem and the reason for this is because I have a hard time keeping those types of stems clean. I don't think there's any reason for them. Um, I will actually show you. I don't know if you can see 
the inside of my stem is actually dirty from when I last used it even though I boiled it and cleaned it and tried to clean it out as best as possible I could not get everything out so now it's kind of like dried up in there I'm gonna have to get some type of like squeegee or something to clean it out but I I don't I don't like I don't like a hollow stem. I think it's a really easy place for bacteria to build and it's hollow all the way to the edge of the bottom of the cup. In regards to the grippiness of the stems, I don't find them very effective either. And even the grippies on the bottom of the cup were actually really slippery, especially when it was inside my vagina and the blood and discharge was making it even more slippery. Um, it doesn't have a great grip. So that brings me back to why I prefer one size during the beginning of my cycle when my cervix is really high versus another later in my cycle when my cervix is low. I wore this on my first day and even though it went in and it popped open really, really easily, because it's got a really nice rim and it kind of suctioned up there. It migrated up throughout the day and I had the hardest time out of most all of my cups when reviewing them trying to get it out. And that's because it was so high up that every single time I went to grab the stem, it was so slippery because the grippies weren't super effective and because it was a hollow stem and it was more smushy, I could not get a good grip on it. And then even when I tried to get my fingers around the ridges on the bottom of the cup, I still couldn't get it down. So finally I had to dig my nails in, which luckily my nails were a little bit grown out. I had to dig my nails in, pinch it to pull it a little bit down, and then break the suction and then wiggle it down. Now let's go into the positives of this cup because I do really, really love this cup. It was so easy to put in. I did my usual punch down fold. I punched down in here, pinched it right there, put it in, and it popped open super easy. It also suctioned really, really well, almost too well. Like I said, it suctioned its way up there when my cervix was super high on the first day and I struggled to bring it down because it just wanted to stay up there. That's a positive because again, it stayed up the entire day when I was active and working around outside and you know, being on my feet. Normally towards the end of a six hour period, cups will kind of start, you know, coming down a little bit, kind of reminding me like, hey man, I'm still up here, you need to empty me and reinsert me, which is a good thing, but sometimes it's really annoying when you're not near a toilet and you don't wanna deal with it. So that was a plus, having this suction so well that it stayed up there and didn't bother me at all. It also suctioned so well that every single time I went swimming with this cup in, I didn't have a single amount of leaking, I didn't have a single amount of chlorinated water in my cup when I went to pull it out. I used it three days in a row, three days swimming, hours on end. You guys know how my kids are right now, we're in the pool all the time. And it was the best swimming cup the best swimming cup. You guys know what my favorite cups are right now. Out of all those cups, this is the only one that hasn't had any water from the pool back into my cup, which I thought was really, really cool. In regards to comfort, I could not feel this cup the second I put it in, even with that stem on there. I used to cut off all my stems, now I leave them on, unless they're really annoying. I haven't had to do that in a long time with cups because most of the cups I've reviewed lately have been super, super comfortable. This one is also really, really comfortable. It is a really great cup. So if you can get past the slippery stem, the hollow stem, and the kind of slippery grippies at the bottom, I think you'll really, really like this cup. In regards to leaking while I had it on, it didn't leak in the pool like I said, and I didn't have a single dang leak in my period underwear for the time that I was using it. My period was about three days solid with a little bit of discharge and a little bit of spotting towards my fourth day, and then it was completely done. I didn't have any cramping, completely, short and sweet period in my book in regards to what my history has been. It's a good cup. So there you have it. There's a very straightforward review of the Honey Pot Cup. I'll leave a link underneath this video along with my video playlist of all the menstrual products that I have reviewed so far. I do have a few cups and a few underwear products possibly in the works for future videos for you guys. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now I will leave you with a short clip of me using this cup. In these clips I do show my blood if you're not familiar with my channel. I do like to show the bloody details of using products because I think that's really important for people to see like if they actually work without me just saying, oh, hey, it works and you blindly trusting me. So I will leave those clips at the end of this video. If you do not want to watch them, go ahead and click out right now so that you don't have to see that. But if you do, keep watching. As always, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this, 
Give this video a thumbs up, share them in your cup communities or your menstrual communities or with your friends and family who are looking for reusable products. And leave a comment below if there's anything specific you'd like me to review next. You guys are what keeps this channel going and I really appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye. All right guys, I look like a mess. Night guard out. I put my cup in yesterday and my battery was dead and everything because I totally was off from my period. I thought my period wasn't starting for another four days and then I looked at my flow app and I was like, oh crap, it's starting and I wasn't prepared to film. So yesterday I started feeling lower back pain, really just irritable. Like the day right before I start my period, I usually start getting a little bit spinning head, exorcist style crazy. And so I really quickly boiled the two honey cup or honey pot cups and uh, put one in just in case because I was out swimming all yesterday since it was the 4th of July. I just wanted to make sure that if I started my period, it wasn't going to be all over my bathing suit or in my pool. So I just wanted to point out that you can put a cup in early. It's a really a nice way of preventing, you know, accidents and stuff while you're on your period. If they start while you're out, I really appreciate the fact that reusable products uh, aren't going to put any unnecessary toxins in my body when I don't need them. I used to put tampons in when I didn't know if I was going to start my period. And since my period was so erratic back then, I would end up wearing tampons, you know, for like sometimes days in while I was in high school or junior high, you know, without actually starting my period. So it was like all those wasted things in my body. And then also they would come out dry and get put in dry and it would just like cut up my insides with little tiny micro abrasions. So I just want to point out cups are really nice because you can put them in and they're not going to harm you and all of that uh, pre period. Anyways, I wore my cup all yesterday. I swam. I was in the water all day. There was no water inside my cup, which is really awesome. Sorry, my kids are right there, uh, which is really awesome because it means that the suction was really good and tight and the seal was good um, because a lot of my other cups all get water in the period stuff won't come out for some reason, but I'll get water in while I swim. This one I did not, so that was nice to know. I wanted to point out that I started my period last night. Like, I'm on the really short hint. You see a tiny little blood? That means that my period is about to start. So, I know my body pretty well. I've actually become really thankful for these videos and just everything I've gone through in life with my body. Um, just because... I've really learned to know all the signs of everything and been more aware of everything going on with it. So yeah, my period's about to start full on today. I woke up really crampy. That's why I was like, ooh, I should pull my cup out and get my camera out. And sure enough, um, it's happening. So last night I slept super well with this thing in all yesterday. It was super comfortable. I didn't feel it once. The stem did not bother me. Um, I probably already talked about this in this video, but I'm still not a fan of the 2B, um, pull tab I don't like that there's like right now there's water I don't know if you can see that bubbling out of it which means that other liquids can get stuck in it and because it goes all the way up it's basically like a little mini straw uh, it goes all the way up to here so I'm not a huge fan of that just because I think bad bacteria can get caught up there um, but I didn't feel a stem at all even though it was this shape it went in super easy yesterday. I apologize that I didn't film get it, putting it in for the first time. I know a lot of you guys find that helpful to see me struggle at times. Uh, I get it. But it went in super easy. I did my usual push down fold or punch down fold. And the rim is so firm that it just popped open so well. So anyways, I'm going to put the cup back in since I am on the precipice of bleeding a bunch and um, I'm gonna go about my day so yeah I really just it work it it goes in so easily it's just such a nice cup oh my gosh such a nice cup so I got it in it's open I'm gonna adjust it to my cervix and holy cow is the suction like the suction is real like I can't even once it's properly placed I can't even like pull it down a little bit by the stem to adjust it. All right guys, so my camera is like breaking. Let's see if I can, man, this thing's in poor shape. Um, all right, stay right there. So it's been about at least six hours. I'm gonna say it's been like seven hours. Uh, and I've been swimming. I came in, I showered and everything. 
didn't take the cup out because I wanted to just keep it in and see what happened. There was no weird gushing or anything like that. I've gone to the bathroom numerous times. I pooped and uh, yeah, it's been staying up there. Didn't come out when I pooped, which is nice. Uh, I didn't have any whatsoever, any like redness on the toilet paper. So I'm not leaking at all. It caught the blood. Yay. And there's no like extra residual water in here. It's just straight blood. So I was in the pool for a really long time. I actually fell asleep and took a nap in the pool. And there's no water whatsoever in this cup. Nothing made it in, nothing made it out. Again, I didn't have any blood while wiping since I put this cup in, since I've been actively bleeding in it. And uh, I haven't felt it. So yeah, I'm gonna put this back in and I'm gonna go to bed. It's super early, but I'm so tired right now. I have been doing nothing but like be in the sun for the last couple of days. As you guys know from my social media, we've just been living in the backyard and I've just been doing projects around the house. I'm just exhausted. So yeah, I'm gonna put it back in. Very excited about this cup. Sorry, I'm not seeming very excited. I'm just too tired. And I'm gonna go lay down and go to bed because I'm having some like major lower back pain, which is not because of the cup, because I've been having this lower back pain for like the last week. So, yeah. All right, guys, check in. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, which this is the latest I've slept in in a while, which has been really nice. My battery is about to die. Yeah, and I'm gonna try to get this cup out. Ooh, it's slippery. It's really high up there. That's a good experience to have, or not experience, and that's a good thing to say is, so just right there trying to pull it out, I will say that the grippers at the bottom, not really super grippy. <laughs> so that would be one downside to this cup. All right, as I was saying, my battery's dying, but now it just died and yeah, I had to walk downstairs, get my other battery with my cup in my hand with blood in it. Kids all said, ew, is that period blood? God, my kids are going to have such stories to tell when they get older. Anyways, um, yeah, the grippies at the bottom are not super grippy when, you know, uh, bodily fluids are involved. So I will just uh, note that. But I was still able to get it down. Um, I would say that if you have a really high cervix and you're like super long, I would maybe suggest doing the large because this is the small size and my cervix had traveled up and uh, it was higher up there. Now I, again, could get it, but if you have a tendency to have uh, normal size cups really get stuck up there, this might not be the size for you because again, the grippies and the straw uh, grippies are not great. So you will have the issue of not being able to like grab hold of it. Uh, in regards to blood, it caught blood. I'm not having any extra bleeding this period, which is nice. Sometimes when I have cups that are not agreeable to my system, it seemed to bleed more. So that makes me really happy because again, I actually, other than the hole in the stem or the tubey stem, I really love this cup. So 